Um, I got part way through this project and then thought it might be interesting for people to see. So this was my orchid that had the blue blooms on it that my mom had gotten for me and it came in this adorable little pot um, with a little plastic container inside of it that did surprisingly have drainage holes in it. So I was actually a little bit shocked about that, but that's cool. Um, but at the same time, there's like a plastic liner on the bottom of this, so any water that went in there was basically in there to stay until it evaporated because it could, can't get out of the bottom of this. And so I pulled it out of here. It was in just, I mean, an orchid bark mixture, and then the very base of the plant had this peat moss like surrounding around it. And. I'm not really all that surprised to see that the roots are in this bad of shape, um, which is why I was going to do this video because I'll show you what I found out on the internet about how to figure out which roots are good or not, um, and then trim back the ones that aren't so that I can now take care of this this plant properly. Though I am actually probably still going to go ahead and use this guy because it does have adequate drainage. I'm just not going to put it back in a thing where the water can't get back out of the bottom of it. And then I don't have to have another pot. So it even, look, I even broke it. So it even has some extra drainage in it now. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do that step next. And I'll show you guys how to be able to tell which of these roots is still viable and which of these roots needs to be cut off. Okay, so what we're going to do is we take our plant and I'm going to put it under the water and let the water run all over the roots. And what is going to happen, you can also just kind of stick this in a bowl full of water to get the same effect, but this is the way that I'm doing it. Um, okay. So what you're going to start to be able to see is, is some of these roots, see, are turning green. Um, whereas other of these roots, when they get wet, are just staying really black, right? Like here, you can even see where the outer casing has come off and the root, like the little, oh, sorry. You can see where the outer, you can see where the outer casing has come off and see if I, I bet you if I just, yep, see, if I pull like that, then I'm left with just that, that one little thing. So that root is obviously not good, but down here we've got some other roots that have, because of the touching the water, have turned green. And so you can tell that those, those roots are the healthy ones. And then the ones where they stay shrivel and really darn, aren't green at all, those are the ones I'm gonna end up cutting off. So I'm gonna put a little bit more water on here just to make sure I've gotten everything to turn green that's going to turn green and then I'm going to cut off all the extra roots. All right so I'm just going to kind of go in here and snip off the bits that are no longer any they're not doing our plant any good anymore. And yes, I should probably be dipping my scissors and all that kind of stuff, but right now I am not that worried about this. Get rid of these old leaves. And the plant itself is actually doing surprisingly well considering how I don't know, poorly it's being been taken care of. Like, I, I mean, I watered it while it was in that pot, but I could only do so much because, you know, I couldn't drain it out the bottom. I didn't understand how the pot was put together. Um, so, I mean, I watered it, but it definitely could have been taken care of better and now I will be taking care of it better because I can pull it out of there. I just didn't want to take it, pull it out while it was still blooming. Um, 
because I figured that that would just probably stress it out way too much. So, <sighs> so you just want to go through here, and anything you see that's not green or that looks really shriveled or, you know, in worst case, black, um, you just want to go ahead and get that out of here. And I am not an orchid expert by any means of, you know, any stretch of the imagination. So this is more or less just, uh, see that's got a black one right in the middle of all the screen, which is kind of a shame, but I'm going to cut that off of there so it doesn't spread. Um, you know, so if you really, really want to know about orchids, it's probably a good idea to actually go to somebody who <laughs> specializes in orchids. Oh, and I've been doing this slightly off camera. I'm so sorry. I'm still getting used to these camera angles that are kind of weird. Um, uh, another one there. All right, I'm gonna make sure it's on camera this time. All right, there we go. All right, so I have gone through here and gotten all of the roots that, oh, no, there's one. All of the roots that to me look like they're unfortunate. And I've left all the roots that still look like they're relatively healthy. These guys don't have, um, I wonder if that's, that might be a little bit of rot there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Um, like they're white, but you can tell that they're still, they plumped up as opposed to shriveling or staying shriveled when they got wet. So those are all the roots that I'm going to leave on there. Um, and we are going to pop this back up into probably not that. I've got some orchid mix, so I'm probably going to go get my orchid mix. And I'll be right back. All right, so I have some um, coarse orchid or so I have some coarse orchid bark um, that I soaked for a little while in water. Um, just to kind of get some water into it because it doesn't suck up water like super quick. Um, and I'm going to, so I'm going to have that. Um, along with, I'm going to mix a little bit of perlite into there just because, because I am. I feel like I want a little bit of perlite in there. I'm just going to add a little perlite to it, not a ton, just enough to get all over my floor, just to help a little bit there, so I like that, that's just like a little bit of orchid bark. Um, okay, so we're going to put some of that in the bottom, like so, oh, they got some really big pieces in here. Ugh. Wow, that is really tough. Okay, you don't get to go in there then. Because you're just big and annoying. Clean my hands off so that I don't get orchid bark all over everything. All right. So we're going to stick you right in. Man, look how thick that root is. There's some really nice thick roots on here. Okay, so we're going to stick him down in there. It's been a long time since I've potted an orchid. I have my two upstairs, but they've just basically been in there for a long while, so. I don't even know what type of soil I have them in. I assume I have them in orchid bark. I think I got that far by the time I had repotted them. Um, will be kind of cool because I can see the I could see the roots down in there um, so I'll be able to tell kind of what they look like and how all that's going and a little bit of extra I might save this and use that for repotting I mean I'm probably gonna save that it would be a shame to throw it away so there we go we've got that I'm going to have a little um, container down or a little thing to catch the water that goes through that. Um, I got some one. 
I got one somewhere, so I assume I'll be able to do it. All right, so that was my really quick video on repotting this orchid, just because I thought you guys might want to see it. If you have any questions, don't direct them to me because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now you can ask me. If I don't know, I'll tell you that I don't know. Um, but hopefully this plant will stay nice and, I mean, it still feels great. I mean, considering how rough those roots were when I pulled it out of there, the leaves, that one's a little bit floppy, but most of these are pretty good, so. Okay, thank you for spending some time with me. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.